Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your speaking and welcome to play by email 4. Turn 158 playing as Russia. Now let's see what's going on. Uh Arqua and Persia mm, Right, friendship, that's not good. And my offer to Arqua has been accepted, so wow. Did I just got some allies then? No, not really. Who was I getting spices for? Mm. Trade route? And war with Persia. Alright, he's still alive in here, surprisingly. Let's just take a quick look. Ho ho ho! That's quite a bit of army, but hopefully he's gonna lose a pike soon. This catapult is a little bit sad being in here, and he actually quite surrounded, but he's got two little crossbows, I think, to take this out real quickly. Well, we shall see. Maybe Almaty can hold just a little bit longer. Alright, this side seems to be secured right now. And I don't want to push any more forward. We've got a crossbow in here that's fine as well. Now what I want to do is I definitely want to pick this pike off. Something I should have done ages ago. There we go. And get this guy out of here. Boom. Extra promotion. Thank you very much. Not mentioning killing you. Boom. Oh my goodness. Maya is making a road in here actually. Look at that. Okay, this... This changes things just a tiny little bit. Seems like Maya and Babylon are actually going to send troops in here. I don't see any other reason why would they try to work around this a little bit differently. So the true question is do I or do I not have the time to go for frigates right now? That's the true question. Cargo ship. Alright, I do have a cargo ship in here ready to be planted and went somewhere. Somebody wants a trade route and that somebody is Vancouver. I think I'm going to send him that. Maybe he can keep those troops a little bit busy. Yes, I know. Hammers would be nice. But 8 Hammers versus Gold to Vancouver. And having a chance for a maritime ally with Silk is probably wise option i don't have silk there we go i don't have silk nobody wants silk though we've got those spices in here but being friendly with vancouver will be definitely helpful now 131 soon uh soon i should be able to declare peace with someone right and getting that great writer in here is also pretty crucial now the problem is with almari I'm going to finish the quest in three turns soon, so hopefully this will be... M nah, he's still mad at me for some reason. I have no idea why. I already gave you a unit. Yeah, I've gave you gave you a unit and three, in three turns. Sorry, right, if I could get the... If Omari will survive for three turns, it's going to be my ally. And I will ask Persia kindly to back off. If he will not listen, I will have a reason to actually fight with him at least that sounds like a reasonable option again all right i want to move in here okay mm i want to move you back for now heal up and actually i can't get in here and pillage safely so i'm just gonna stay in here and fortify for now he can't plant a city yeah, he can't plant a city on top of me, so his Great Wall will not be that useful. As long as he will not try to, so I just need to support my units in here with some nice troops. 
and I will be more than fine. So actually this trebuchet, the best option for this trebuchet is actually to fortify it in this fort. Mm, at least for at least for now. I think I'm gonna risk frigates. I really think I'm gonna risk frigates. I should be able to defend my land with some trebuchets, spikes and composites for now. I think this should be more than doable. Just keep on fortifying here. Anything else I could work in here right now? No, you're just slowly... Yeah, exactly. You're just slowly growing. So keep on doing that. Same goes for you. You're just slowly growing in here as well. Prebuchet in two turns. I still got that great engineer. Well, your proposition is to go for um, chivalry. Well... I think I want to start rolling those frigates. If I could get frigates this side, this side will basically be impossible. I can easily, if Maya will try to fight with me, I have a nice reason to just go straight for his capital and force him to retreat if I got ships. Uh, and I definitely need those. So even Gallius, as uh, somebody mentioned earlier, are going to be useful. Ah, oh, you little skunks. Skunk! You little skunk. Alright. Alright, alright. I can see you. I can see you and I don't like what you did. What I do, what I am interested in though, is possibly using this great engineer for a manufactory after all. And not using it for any wonders. There's no wonders right now that I could get, except Uncle Wat, which somebody already wants, right? Yeah, Zanzibar wants Uncle Wat, but no, nah, it's just and Hong Kong wants Uncle Wat. I would prefer to hard build it. And this great engineer, there's not going to be any wonders that I could get. Pulse and Tower will go to Babylon. Mm, system Chapel is nice and so on. What I really want to do is I think I want to I wanna invest in Hammers. I know you probably don't like the idea. You would like me to save Grain Engineer for something. But keeping him here is just a waste in my opinion. I like to buff my Hammers as much as possible. Mm, I'm fast for now, but I am in a golden age. So this will not last for long. And I'm third at science right now and fought at army. So Babylon army and Maya army stronger than me. Let me know that. So Maya, already I see Maya in here. Quite a lot of troops in here, if you ask me. Three crossbows, one pikeman, a pikeman in here. So I definitely, and I mean like definitely need to fortify this side. I would love to buy those hills. Don't get me wrong, I would like to buy those hills. So I actually have the control of this land and I can see what's up there. So I need troops on the other side. This, this city-state is not a threat, it would seem, for now. I need to buff up the other side really, really badly. And I'm like, really, really badly, especially this. So I get two, two trebuchets in here, uh, some pikes in here, for example, here, a pike as well, and then a bit more troops. So definitely, definitely a land army is needed uh, very, very quickly, in my opinion. So everything counts everybody now counts uh, so just get those troops in here as fast as possible I think even I could skip the university well I can definitely skip stables that's 100% and horsemen's horsemen is what I want horsemen's is what I need right now okay let's just take one quick look at demographics one more time this is how it works and basically that's it so as long as Persia will not decide to attack me, I will have Maya at my borders, and it seems like I will have Babylon at some point. But if they will fight two versus one in here with city states, there's a huge chance I have a little bit of an advantage over in movement in here. Mm, especially Maya is kind of getting on my nerves right now. I don't want him to be in here. Like, there's no reason for his troops being in here. It's just not nice. All right. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Best wishes. Yours up.